friends, uh, today I am going to explain uh, mean value theorem. Uh, it is also known as the Lagrangian mean value theorem. And the uh, statement is, let uh, f is a function from close interval a b to r such that f is continuous on close interval a b f is differentiable on a b open interval then there exist at least one point c belongs to open interval a b means interior of this such that f dash c is equal to f b minus f a upon b minus a so it is similar to Rolle theorem f function given which is defined in close interval a b such that f is continuous in close interval f is differentiable on open interval then there exists at least one point c which is interior of a and b means in, inside only such that f dash c is equal to what f b minus f a upon b minus a this is statement function must be continuous in close interval differentiable on open interval then definitely one point c will be there inside in open interval a comma b such that derivative of f at some point c is equal to fb minus fa upon b minus a now i am going to explain by geometric means it's geometrical what it's say suppose uh, this is the curve we have two points Suppose this is A and this is B. So at A means uh, this is A point, this is your B. So what is the value of function? At B. What is the value of function? F A. If F is continuous in A B, yes, it is continuous. It is differentiable, yes, it is differentiable. So theorem tells if you draw a chord here, then at some point C definitely is there in between, where once you draw the tangent. Once you draw the tangent, it is parallel to the chord of AB. Understand? If function is continuous in AB, differentiable in AB, open interval, then at least one point C is there between A and B, where when you draw the tangent, it will be parallel to the chord when you join points A and B. Understand? This is geometrical meaning. And uh, what is derivative value? Fb minus Fa upon B minus A. It has one more meaning. What is that meaning? Uh, first I will write what is geometrical meaning. If we draw tangent, uh, draw chord between A and B, then there will be at least one point C belongs to a comma b 
for that tangent at C is parallel to the chord A. So hope you understand what is the geometrical meaning. Now I am going to explain its uh, uh, we can say like application oriented meaning or physical meaning. Uh, what is physical meaning? Its physical meaning is Suppose, uh, uh, what is the formula? Formula is F dash C is equal to F B minus F A upon B minus A. So, what is this value represent? F B minus F A upon B minus A. It represent average change. Of average. average change of F in AB. What is E of dash C? It is called instantaneous. with one example so with example I will try to explain you uh, what is meaning suppose we have one car we started from zero during acceleration we started from zero and we reach how many distance 300 meter in how many second 6 second it reach which point A. Then its average value is average speed. Then its average speed is how much? Distance of 300 upon 6 which is 50 meter per second. Correct? Average speed. This is average speed. So, current tells Definitely, this is average speed. At some point during its journey, at some point C must be there where its instantaneous speed is how much? 15 meter per second. Definitely at some point its speed is how much? 50 meter per second. That conclusion comes from mean value theorem. Now some more conclusion comes from mean value theorem which you know very well but uh, reason I don't know you know or not. What is first? If f dash x is equal to 0 for every x belongs to AB. 
then what is fx constant throughout the interval this result comes from mean value theorem only this is corollary of mean value theorem if differentiation of any function becomes zero then function must be constant and second result if f dash x is equal to g dash x for some function f and g then for interval a b then fx is equal to gx plus c this is also one corollary of mean value theorem only so uh, this much uh, for mean value theorem and now i am going to explain one question how we can use mean value theorem or how we can verify mean value theorem for verification it's a very similar to log theorem and the procedure is function must be continuous and differentiable once you know this all just use which formula f dash c is equal to f b minus f a upon b minus a then calculate c value once you calculated c value if it lies between a and b it means mean value theorem verified otherwise not so now i am going to explain this by examples so uh, now i will explain by example and uh, example i have taken fx is equal to 2x square minus 7x plus 10 in which interval 2 comma 5 so using mean value theorem because it's a polynomial definitely it is a continuous as well as differentiable in every interval and it here interval is meant to come of five no matter so what is a value two what is b value five what is fa function value at two so two to the four to the eight Minus fourteen plus ten. Four. What is b value? Function value at five. Fifty minus thirty-five plus ten. So now f b and f a we got because. Yf dash c is equal to f b minus f a upon b minus a. What is yf dash c? F x given this one, differentiate this one. So four x means four c minus seven is equal to f b means twenty five, f a means four upon twenty five minus four. That is twenty one. So four c minus seven, twenty five minus four is twenty one. Now divide by one. Four c is equal to a. What is c value? Two. So here two, two is boundary. Correct, na? What what is the c value? Boundary. It does not lies in between interval. If c lies in between, then mean value theorem verified. Otherwise, not. So, hopefully you understand. You can do uh, any question, whatever given by this way. And uh, if you have any doubt, please uh, write in comment box. I will try to solve that one. And uh, you understand all the things. Thank you. and please like and subscribe